Facebook Live Connect. Hello, hello, Facebook Live. You're connected. Welcome to another episode of Dinner and 45 with your guy, Mr. Brunch Chicago. Well, we know for the past four weeks, we were cooking with Southside Jerk Sauces and Rubs, and we're continuing the trend, okay? So, right now, getting everything set up, I'm going to make some buffalo wings using the Southside Jerk Rub and Sauces. I'm going to make some enchiladas using it, and I'm going to make some nachos. So, we're going to go make some quick meals. So, right now, I'm going to show you how I kind of shred up my lettuce and cut up my tomatoes. So, you know, I take my nice green leaf lettuce. I already shredded a little bit, but just showing you all, I just take it. I lay them on top of each other. I fold them. Roll them up. And then... Just cut them a nice little shape. And that's good right there. I'm done with it. And that's it. I'm going to take my shredded lettuce. I have it in my vegetable bin. And I'm ready to go with my shredded lettuce. Coming with my tomato. Remember, you're cutting tomatoes, and especially you're doing dice from tomatoes, we're going to cut from the side. We're going to cut the sides out, okay? Pretty much the same way we do our peppers. We cut the side out to leave the seeds in the middle. Get a little bit of that bottom portion. And then do it pretty much the same way that we do our peppers, green peppers and red peppers, okay? Now, if there's any seed portion in, you can always just cut that out. And I just dice it. There you go, just like that. And almost like you're for laying it out. And just cut that portion out. Bam. It's gone. There you are. That's gone too. And still moving. And then you just go ahead and you just slice them on up, however you want. If you want them thin, you want them thick, it's up to you. So I slice them one direction, come across, to make it easy for myself. So, you know, you don't cut yourself. Or, and just cut all in one direction first. Turn it to the side and cut in the opposite direction. And there's your dice. Same with this. These are going to be a little thicker. So, you know, just show you. I want to make sure you see the compare and contrast. So now we're going to come back out because I want to see. Come back out. I want you all to see how I'm cutting it. And then these thicker. So. Some reason the portal wants to zoom in to my stomach. Not to the actual tomato. So, this week I'm rocking Brave Chick t-shirt. My sister, Erica Bracy. Brave Chick. I hope you all know the real Brave Chick. And you already know uh, my sister lost her mom two weeks ago. So, you know, we the funeral services and just um, being there supporting each other. So, you know, I always want to tell my sister I love you. She know I love her. Hey, that's my favorite Delta. I see you. Hey, CJ. But, uh, I know that's my favorite Delta. I see you checking in. And I'm just dicing them up like this. And then I'm just going to pretty much take them and I'm going to scoop them. I have a scooper and I just scoop these bad boys in there. And I put them in my bin. And I scoop these bad boys. Up in there, and put them in the bin, and then I use those for later. I'm going to set up my wings because I'm doing buffalo wings and I'm doing baked wings. So, giving you representation of the two, okay? 
Here we have tuned to your steep bolt as I make it. So my wings are pretty much already taken care of. Um, so you start your wings. Thawed out, so I'm going to season them in front of you. And half of these I'm going to fry, half of these I'm going to bake, okay? Yes, yes. We, um, we mourn with my sister. We're going to celebrate and praise God with her. And, um, you know, we go through this together because we're family and we're community. So I'm going to spray it with cooking oil before I season it. For the baked wings, I'm coming with, I have one in there, ready to go. I'm coming with this bold and spicy. So, got a teaspoon. And that's how you want to coat them. You want to coat them just like this. Turn them over to the other side. Do the same exact thing. And whichever side you want, if you didn't fully coat it, that's okay. Finish it off, okay? Take it over to the other side and you're doing the same exact thing. Now these down here, I'm not putting any type of season on these wings. I'm dropping these straight in the grease. Okay? These are going into the grease. Uh, those are being deep fried. So they're being deep fried buffalo style. And these right here. They're going to be baked. So we're going back with the spray. And then we're going to season on top of these again. So I'm gonna bake these in the toast oven, to make it real easy for everyone. Okay. and 15 on each side. So I'm bringing the rack out. You can see the rack. And I have my, my grease pan that actually collects the grease on the bottom of my toast oven. I'm putting them in here and I'm making sure they're seasoned and they're well seasoned. They're seasoned on all sides. So when I season the first side, I'm turning them back over. And I'm turning them back over to make sure that they're seasoned again on the top before I put them into the toast oven. Right on the rack. I'm looking for that nice golden brown, well seasoned wings. And they're baked. So all you people that don't want to do the fried buffalo, you can do the bake. And I tell you, this Southside Jerk, bold and spicy or regular, it does the work for you. It makes everything easy and convenient for you. And that's one of the things I love about it. You know, you don't, you're not great at mixing season and spices together. Guess what? It does it for you. So you just go ahead and throw that on some spaghetti, some nachos, some tacos, and everything else. 
and it works out for itself. So now, I'm coming with some ground beef and some chicken, right? So I'm gonna make my um my nacho and my taco meat. I thawed out some ground chicken. And well, we had 15 minutes on this. So we're gonna let that bake, and then it's gonna bake one side 15 minutes. I'm gonna flip it over to the other side, and then while these wings are frying over here. I'm going to go ahead and knock out my sauce for the wings, drop them in there, and then I'm going to go ahead and make my meat on the enchiladas and stuff. So, I'm going with a combo of Southside Jerk Sauce Original. I'm going to put it in a saucepan. Add a little bit of bold and spicy to it as well. And because, you know, I like hot wings, I want a little kick on it. I'm coming with this bold and spicy seasoning. So I'm coming with a teaspoon of that. I'm going to teaspoon in about a little quarter of that. Right? So I got that going nice and hot. Then I'm about to add my butter. Okay, we're gonna add a little butter. Quarter stick is great. It's about a quarter stick of butter. Dip it on up in there. there we go. As you can see, I'm stirring it all up. I got the sauce and the butter. It's all coming together, right? And don't worry, I'm going to bring it to you so you can see. So, but I got to get this heat to get this butter melted. So I want my butter to melt first, you know, before I bring it to you because you're not going to really see the true representation of how it's mixing together. And you can see how that butter is infusing in this sauce. So now, here you go. This is the butter. See? And I'm mixing that butter up, and the butter, you know, the, the skillet's hot. So I'm mixing that butter up and the skillet. And you see how it's coming together and how the butter is melting in there. And this is the, this is the hot wing sauce. Okay? This is the hot wing sauce. This is what you want. This is what you want. Mr. Brown Chicago giving it to you. I'm on the braid chick side today. It's a representing for my sister Erica. Love you, baby. I'm going to have some bills for you. When I finish, I'm going to call, check on you and see what you're eating tonight. Because I'm going to feed my sister. She know I do. I feed my sister. I love my sister. And uh, that's been my name. Hey, shoot. But play, play box, the, the sandbox, high school, and all the way through college. We've been together. I mean, we've been together. From Chicago to Atlanta, back to Chicago, we have been together. And there it is. That's the buffalo wing sauce. So I'm dropping that in here. So when these wings come out, I'm gonna mix them in this bowl, but I'm gonna mix them in the bowl right in front. Right? Cool. Y'all cool with that? I'm cool with it. Rinse that real quick. Now come with this meat. Take it on the wing. Wing just about done. So I'm gonna be able to do those wings and plate them in a quick second. But now I'm coming with this meat. So I'm coming with a little half of ground beef. Ground beef, brown sugar. 
I got a rhyme for that, but you know, I can't say it on TV. <laughs> got the ground beef, ground chuck. We're going to let that get free. And then I'm coming with this, uh, this ground chicken. So I'm doing a combo of chicken and beef on the meat side. Yeah, I am. I can do that. I can do that. Because we know we eat chicken and beef, you know. My baby went, uh, cause I've been I've been popping off, man, making some five ribs and rib tips and stuff. My baby don't get off her, don't eat no pork diet. And I've been killing her, man, with them rib tips. She be eating rib tips, rib, whole pizza. I've been killing. So now she back, you know, she she don't get off, don't get off track, but she back on track. And, you know, I got to uh, make sure she eat right. So, you know, that's, you know, that's the house. I got to take the care of the house. So, you know, mama happy, everybody happy. So, mama said she don't want no more pork. Hey, I can't make mama no more pork. But I ain't mad at the pig. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at the pig. I'm going to tear them up. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to wear them out. But, hey, you know, got to keep a happy home. So, I can listen and hear them Wayne just about ready. I'm going to flip these around a little bit. I'm going to actually give it about three minutes. And I know they done. Right? Cool beans, collard greens. So I got my meat in here. I told you I got the chicken and the beef combo I'm doing together. So I'm mixing these two together, y'all. But you know, I got to come with, and I'm doing it kind of mild on this. This is just straight south side jerk. This is going to be straight south side jerk. The original. The original. Because I'm making nachos. I'm going to make a couple little enchiladas so y'all see how I make the enchiladas. And uh, pop off with the milk cheese on nachos and enchiladas. You know, fold them on up. Make the sauce for them. Dump the cheese on them. Pop them in that little toast oven for a little bit. And you see what they're working with. So... You got the south side jerk going here with this chicken beef combo meat special I'm making. I'm going to turn that piece up just a little bit. And then, you know, I'm going to knock it off. The south side jerk seasoning. Yeah, got you. So I'm coming with the South Side Jerk season on top of it. So I'm going to teaspoon, put it on in there. Now this is this is the key now. A teaspoon of South Side Jerk seasoning, but I'm coming with another teaspoon of ground cumin. All right? Because I want that little Mexicano flavor on that thing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to come with this ground cumin. So I'm coming with the ground cumin on there, right? Teaspoon of the ground cumin. Bang. There it is, right there. There it is. There it is, right there. So I came with the ground cumin and the south side jerk. And it's bubbling on up for it's sizzling and bubbling on up. I don't want y'all to see that right here. Don't bag up on that camera. You see that? And then you got, that's the mixture with the meat. You got the ground beef. You got the uh, ground chicken. The south side jerk original. You got that cumin that's giving you that Mexican flavor. And you, you can smell the flavors all up in that thing. And so I'm popping that thing off real quick here, here, right there. See that right there? And we mixing that thing up. I got to put it back on that fire so it get that heat. I got six seconds on these wings. That fire is off. The wings is coming out. Boom. They in there with the hot wing. Then 
let it go. So I want y'all to kind of see that thing right now, right? So I want y'all to see how I do that thing. That, that's the bowl right there. Rip this off, and then I'll get this right off, right? And then I got the brush. So right here, you see, that's the bowl. Them the hot wings right there, and right, and I'm just there it is. I'm putting that sauce on them boys. Woo -woo. I'm just there it is. I'm spreading that sauce on there, and I'm using it. I'm painting. I'm I'm painting a, a, a Michelangelo Picasso special. And that's them hot wings right there. Southside jerk hot wings. Look at that right there, boy. Do y'all see that? Y'all see them hot wings right there? You see them hot wings? Y'all see that up in 3D? That's them hot wings in the hot wing sauce. And that sauce is a golden chocolate brown. It's a golden chocolate brown on that hot wing sauce. Y'all see that? Y'all see, see that Instagram live? See that? See right? Facebook live? Y'all see that? That golden chocolate sauce on them hot wings. So I'm going to go ahead plate them bad boys, right? So I got a plate. Already dressed up for you. You know what I'm saying? I made it look pretty like. Boom. The cops is stirring up in me. And you know, you taste it as you go. So I know me, I like my stuff flavorful. So I'm going to add another teaspoon. Ooh, look at that. Boy, them boy. Ooh, ooh, you see. When I put them with, bam. Look at here, man. I'm telling you, there it is right there. This is this is what you, when I say this is what you want, I ain't, I ain't playing. This is really what you want. This is what you want, man. You want them wings like that. And then, you want the homeboy, right? I'm going to drizzle, look at it. Drizzle it down on there, saucified. See, that way it's saucified right there. When you take that sauce, look at that sauce dripping new. It's dripping down all on it. There it is, like that. Take it, get your good old, there you go. Slap on that sauce. And, and look at that right there, y'all. Look at that. You don't tell me that's beautiful. Ain't that not a beautiful thing right there? Facebook Live, ain't that not a beautiful thing right there? You see them wings? You see them wings? That's when them wings is popping off. You, Buffalo Wild Wings, I got this. This is Southside Jerk. This is Mr. Chicago. Southside Jerk, man. This is how I do. I'm doing this at the house, man. And I just put the little bowl with the uh, blue cheese in there. And I mix the Southside Jerk with the blue cheese. And you dip it. It's just a, I'm telling you, the flavor is popping off everywhere. It's popping everywhere. Let's put this up for y'all for later. Because I'm going to put them baked wings on that bad boy when it's finished. Woo woo. So we coming back, cooking up this meat over here. And we did look pretty good right here. I must say so myself. So I'm gonna add some more. No spoonful. Right? Sauce add jerk. There it is. Sauce add jerk, yeah. Gotta add some more to it. I got enough cumin for it, but I'm coming with some more sauce. Sauce add jerk salt. Right? And look at it. It's 525. Hot wing ready. The meat for the enchiladas and the nachos is ready, right? Look at that right there. See that right there? Y'all see how I'm getting down with that thing right there? That's how you get down with it, right there. You see that? It's the sauces. You still smell that cumin to give you that Mexican feel. You're like, ooh, it feel Mexicano. And then you, you can smell it. You smell the flavors up in that bad boy, right? I got the combo going. And now, I'm going to turn that fire down to the simmer. And I'm going to cheat on y'all. Y'all ain't ready. I'm going to have to cheat on y'all. Wait, wait, Taffy. Wait, Taffy. So, now, I'm going to make this enchilada sauce right in front of your face. Right? There it is. I'm going to make that enchilada sauce. I'm checking on my wing. Ooh, they looking good. They is cooking right too. It looks good. So I'm gonna hit um, the enchilada sauce. 
And that's all you need, man. Get you a, a, a can, a bottle of salsa. Get you some salsa, right? Make it real quick. Make it real easy. Get you some salsa. And you know what? I'm going to add some. I'm going to add some chopped onions to this because I like chopped onions. I'm going to add some chopped onions to the meat. Give me a little bit more flavor. And then on simmer, I'm going to let it just stir and flow. So until we ready for the meat, I add that chopped onion to it. Bam. And then that's going to give me even more flavors. Look at that. And that chopped onion is just catching. It's catching. And then that's even more flavors with it. So, because, you know, I like onions and stuff like that. You know, I like my onions and my stuff. So, and I just got it right there. And it's on a simmer. And that's the flavors going. So, we're going to come over here and I'm taking a quarter bottle of this salsa. And this is granulated garlic. You know, because I do my garlic. I do my garlic well. Right? And then... I'm coming with a little teaspoon, a tablespoon, but with my half a tablespoon of paprika. Throw it in there. Come back with a little half a tablespoon of ground cumin. Right? Pop it off right now. Tablespoon of ground cumin. Right? Then, I'm coming back with the south side jerk. Bold and spicy. Then the flavor, there it is, yeah. That's the flavor right there. Pop the bold and spicy on there, y'all. I don't pop off that bold and spicy on there. Yeah, right. I'm a cheat, right? I'm putting that bold and spicy sauce. Some of that bold spice sauce. I'm spreading it down in that area. Just like that. See? I'm still using some of that sauce I didn't use for the hot wing sauce, right? So now I'm using that here. And I'm stirring this thing up right in front of me, just like that. That's my enchilada sauce, y'all. This is what I'm using for my enchilada. This is the enchilada sauce. Real quick. Real easy. And that's what it is. It ain't take no more than that. And we using this. So, the one or two little enchiladas I make, bam, this is sauce I'm putting on top of. So, you heard that bean. Then my wings. But now, I'm coming back over here with my wings. I'm going to pull them out. I'm going to flip them over. And they look nice and golden brown, too, baby. Golden cricket brown. I'm gonna flip them over on the opposite side. And if you know how I do, pull the tray out. If you know how I do, yep, you know. If you know how I do, you know what I'm about to do. Yes, I am. I'm about to put some more bold and spice on it and bake it on the other side for another. Ten minutes. Bold and spicy. Flavors everywhere on the base side wings. And you can see these boys over here, they looking delicious. They looking very delicious. I'll tell you that. And um, pop that boy right back up in here. Um, there it is. Another about 12 minutes on those. All of that red. All that's ready. I got a apartment paper right here. So I'm gonna come on over here and I'm gonna make enchilada real quick. Right? Right here. And I got my little shells right here. Right? So this is the process of how I make. And man, I'm getting at 45. Y'all see all these combos and meals I'm making? I still gotta make nachos. I still got a big nacho. So, 
Them, this is flour. This is wheat flour tortilla, y'all. You can get the wheat flour tortilla. That's what I get. I take wheat flour tortilla, right? And I'm coming with the meat. Now, I don't want to do too much. You know what I'm saying? I ain't do too much on the meat because I'm folding it up. So I'm going to do like two of these. Fold them up. And I got the Velveeta's. Uh, Velveeta's shred. Velveeta's. So I got Velveeta's. I like Velveeta's. Velveeta's melt real easy and smooth for you. So that's one of the reasons I really like the Velveeta's. So put a little Velveeta's in the middle. Right? Put a little Velveeta's in the middle. And give me right here. I'm going to pop a little bit of Greek yogurt. Bam. Look at that Greek yogurt in the middle. Not a whole lot. Just a little. Give me, give me a little bit more. Give me a little bit more. Just a little bit more. There. Little Greek yogurt right there. Right? And I got my tomatoes. I'm going to put a little tomatoes in the middle. That's it. Right? So then, pretty much the same way you fold a burrito. Right? Come on up with it. I got to come on up. So, at this portal, do what I need to do. So, same way I fold my burritos, I'm doing the same with my angelata. Right? Because I like a tight fold on it. So, I got it. To fold it. And I'm rolling it real tight. I got these squeezed up right here. I'm rolling it. Let me pull it back. I'm going to pull it back some. There we go. Let me pull it back some. There we go. Yeah. We're going to roll it. We're going to come tight with it. Get like this. And then. Squeezing that boy. Squeeze that. You got to squeeze very gently. Squeeze it. And then you tuck and roll with it. Tuck and roll. Squeeze. Tuck and roll. Squeeze. Tuck and roll. Squeeze. Tuck and roll. See? Bam. Right there. Perfect. On the, and then this is what I do. I seal it. And this is what I do. This is how I do it. My little secret. I seal these boys. And I throw them on the griddle, and I let them sear. Give me a nice little sear on the griddle. Then when I put them in my pan with the sauce and drop the cheese and all on there, man, them enchiladas pop. So I'm going to make one more. We're going to do a double enchilada combo special. And I'm going to take my meat. We got my meat and my old sauce right here. But I'm gonna use this one more time to make my nacho cheese. So, and I got flavors already in here. I got flavors. I got flavors already in there. So I'm mixing the flavors in there. I'm rinsing this off. I wash that real quick. I got more soap. Give me soap. We're gonna not clean that out real quick. I gotta get about 15 pots of pans. I'm gonna clean this one. Keep it moving. And, and I still got time. That's a killer. I still got so much time on my uh, show. I'm making these meals and I'm over there cleaning some dishes. And my folks are like, oh man, most, most people can't even cook in 10 minutes. Y'all don't try to clean some dishes in the middle in the process of cooking something. But hey, you multitask, man. And you take care of what you need to take care of first, and then you move on to the next thing. That's all it is. Right? Like you can it is. You learn what you learn. You perfect that first. We have to do the same thing in sports. I learned how to play basketball. I had to learn how to dribble, man. I had to work with dribbling with my right. That was my strong suit. So let me perfect going to my right, dribbling with my right. Then I started working on my left because that was weak. And I continue working on my left. And old school, my coaches used to tie one arm down. They would take that rope, tie your right arm down. You had to dribble with your left all the time, shoot and lay up with your left to get used to. 
Use your left. And it was just repetition. Because the more I did it, the better you got. Same thing applies for cooking and everything else. It's just taking the time to do the work. Practice. Y'all see LeBron James, man, that man practice. He work out all the time. He's always playing ball. He got hoop in his crib, a full gym. He running with his kids, his wife, during the pandemic, bro. He came in, he it looked like he in better shape now than he was during the season. So now, coming back with my, with my meat. And I'm going to put my meat on here. And that's enough meat right there. The Greek yogurt. Valvetus. So I'm gonna the cheese on the inside, but I'm gonna have cheese on the outside. And then I got my tomatoes to give me that tomato flavor. And then I'm going with the same thing. I'm folding it up. Oh, get that. Get the tomato back in there. Get the tomato back in there. I'm folding it up and then I'm squeezing. Y'all see right there? I squeeze it. You see how I squeeze it? I, I fold it and I squeeze it. So what I'm doing when I'm squeezing it, I'm letting the hot meat absorb in this flour tortilla. And it's allowing it to stretch and to grab at the same time. So stretching, and I'm pulling it together and squeezing, and then catching at the same time. And then now, bam, it's on the grill. This is sealed. You see that right here? That's sealed. That's locked and sealed. You see right there? Locked and sealed. I'm going to put it on the other side as I let this one grill, and then I'm putting them in the pan. Then I'm coming with the stalks. So I'm going to put them in this. Little quick little pan because by the time that's done, the wings gonna be out. The wings ready to go. Right now, I got my meat ready for my nachos, and then I'm mixing that with the leftover Southside jerk buffalo wing sauce, right? But I still want a little bit of my Cali intake. Popping off flavors, right? So, I'm gonna add a little bit more cumin to it. That's all. Add a little bit more cumin to it. Mix it up. Now we're mixing it up right there. I'm mixing that thing up. Mixing it up. You smell the flavors. And that's my caliente right there. And then I got them onions that I put in there. And then I'm caramelizing a little bit. So I had it at a nice warm temperature. And still hot, and then that's going over here on my nachos. So I got my grill marks on that side, putting it in here. Grill marks on that side. I'm gonna wait for that side to pop off real quick. Them man, them wings look fine. Bam, they ready. They ready. So. Let me help y'all out. I'm gonna pop these wings off and take them out, right? And look here. I'm gonna pull them out one at a time. I want you to see the buffalo. I'm gonna put the buffalo on one side and then I'm gonna put the bait on the other side and you can see the difference between the two, man. Talking about something looking pretty. Some looking pretty. All right, so I want y'all to check that out, man. Look at look at this right here. And this is coming off right here. It's coming off right here. But look, look at it. Look at it right here. This right here, them the grill wing. And then this buffalo on that side. Y'all see that? That's them grill wings. Put those in the oven. Bake those in the oven. You see that right there? And then, them the ones I did with that buffalo. Oh, you see how juicified they look. They look nice and wet and juicified. 
But this is with that straight rub you put on that bad boy. Ooh, woo! Tell me, man. I ain't playing with y'all. This is, look, for the playoff, this playoff food. This food you want to get for the playoffs, you know? And some of my friends done got some of these. My homeboy, Kevin Giggins, got some sauce. You can gift it a couple people. Uh, Sister Maria Hurd, I want to thank you because, you know, she she's chefing all right, man. She, I mean, she's been catering and cooking. My girl, Tony Bailey, she don't use the sauce for a couple of her catering events. Uh, my girl, April Darby, just uh, ordered some, and she cooked, man, like now another. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about some good cooks don't, don't order this stuff, and they using it. And I'm telling you, it's a compliment. It's a big compliment to me because I know they know how to throw that. You know what I'm saying? They don't need my sauce to make food taste good. But they using my sauce, and they and they and they supporting their brother, and I love that, you know. But they telling me I got a good product. I know it's a good product because I know they know how to cook for real, for real. They mamas, you know what I'm saying? They ain't cook because they oh they was they mamas that know how to cook, and they know how to cook professionally. So hey, you know, much credit credit due, man. So we got what I got over here. All right, let me throw the cream over here. I'm gonna come back and make the, the nacho real quick. Shake it up, baby. Shake it up, baby. And this is the first time in a long time I don't went the whole show without putting my Mr. Brunch Chicago apron on. And this sitting right there. This sitting right over here. My right there, right there. My apron right there. But sitting out love my sister, man. And I'm rocking with this braid chick. My sister is the braid chick. I'm rocking with the braid chick, so the braid chick is rocking for the whole show. I'm rocking with the whole show. Enchilada sauce, y'all. Look at this. It's your boy. So, you taking it? Come on. The table alive. Yeah. Come on, Porto. He come on, Porto. Give me an egg rag. I got to pull it back a little bit so Instagram can see. All right. All right, Instagram. So now, I'm just drizzling that sauce on. Right? That's all. Drizzling that sauce. And I got them onions and peppers. So I'm putting these boys right next to each other. And I'm just smothering this sauce on them. Right? That's it. And I'm giving me a nice deep cover on all that. Bam. All side. On this side. On that side. And a quick little smaller enchilada plate. Cheese on there. I'm gonna smother it, boy. I'll smother it out, right? Cause it's going for this enchilada. I'm gonna be using it for, using it for this enchilada right here, right? Huh? All out on the enchilada. Come with the cheese. Them on. I go in the oven right there. I go in the oven. I'm gonna melt that cheese. Bake a little bit. Put this on bake. Another ten minutes. Boom. Is that all real quick? Here I am with my heavy whipping cream and smoothing it down. Bell beaters. I'm putting the bell beaters in there. Right? So I got the bell beaters in here to melt. But, and I'm not doing the golden spice, I'm coming with the south side jerk rib. Southside jerk, they're homegrown sauce. Mixing in 
with the cheese for the nachos. And I know some of y'all are like, he, he, this, that's the, he, this is what he gonna do. Got a little something else I'm gonna do with it. You know what I'm saying? Put a little something like extra with it. And then, I'm gonna put these right here. I got them blue cone chips right here. Got them blue cone, I got the blue cone chips. The blue, blue nacho chips. Come with the blue nacho chip, right? This right here is playoff food, NBA style. When you watching LeBron and the Lakers, you know, do their thing in the playoffs. Whoever you want to go for, you know, that's my, my team right there. I'm LeBron. I'm a LeBron fan. Been a LeBron fan from day one. When he was in high school, that's my man. I'm proud of him. Proud of the man that he became, the man he is, and the man he gonna be. Cause me, he run for president. I'm vote three times. I'm vote. I'm, I'm vote for me, myself, and I. I'm gonna do a regular election. I'm gonna do a mail in, and I'm gonna do an absentee ballot. I'm gonna do three. I'm me, myself, and I. I'm voting three times. Let him ever run. Hey, whatever, it, whatever it is, it is that. But you see that? Look at that right there. That's the cheese getting ready to go on the nacho. And I ain't even done with it. You smell the south side jerk. It's the cheese in there. It's melted. It's ready to go. We're going to drop this meat on here. Bam. Right? I know y'all don't want some of it, but carbs. Look, I'm going to see carbs all over the screen. Carbs, carbs, carbs. Uh, so y'all see I'm popping that meat off in there, right? I'm making meat too. Feel like I do my pizza. I don't know if Tanya been watching right now. Tanya, I got them them frozen pieces. I don't perfected it. They coming your way. Get ready. My niece, I got her pizza coming down there. The oil, I got them coming. They coming. I don't perfected it. You know I be practicing. I got to figure it out. And once I get it right, ooh -wee, ain't nobody playing. That's the meat, y'all. Look at that. I want y'all to see all that meat. See all that meat on there? That's the meat. Now, I'm coming with the cheese. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that cheese, y'all. Look at that cheese. You see that right there? Y'all see the cheese? Now, here it is. Here it is. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch it, watch it, watch it y'all. That's got a cheese spread on it. Y'all see that? Y'all see that cheese coming down there on there? Uh, paper live, you tripping. Come on back here. These people need to see this. Y'all see all that cheese coming down on there? Nacho, look at that. The cheese flowing on them nacho. South side jerk, nacho cheese. And you don't want to be yours, you can be all mine. Southside jerk, nacho cheese. On the real side. Everything off, 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 off. Enchiladas going. And so, here we bring it off. I'm coming with some lettuce on top of these boys. Y'all saw me straight up the lettuce, right? So, I'm coming up with the lettuce on top. Shredded lettuce, tomatoes, excuse me y'all, I'm trying to get pulled of the egg right, so I can show y'all what I'm making on this plate. Alright, you got the tomatoes. And sprinkle them tomatoes around there. We're gonna take this Greek yogurt, slap it right in the middle. Slap some, some more of that Greek yogurt right in the middle of that boy. Put some more of them tomatoes around the side. Make sure they diced up real nice and pretty. Okay, and then 
I'm still gotta come up. Gotta come back. Bottle. And I'm still going to drop the little Velveeta's around there for the display. The Mr. Brunt Chicago, y'all, these is a nacho. Southside jerk nachos. Right here, that's Southside jerk nachos, y'all. See what I'm saying? Look at that right there. Don't tell me you don't want to buy none of that. See what I'm saying? That's how your man getting down. And, and, and you know what? You know, we've been doing this thing since March and being a blessing to everybody. Showing y'all how to make these delicious, incredible meals at home. You know, get you some Southside Jerk sauce. You can check it out in the comment. You can click the link. You can buy you some sauce. You know, God is being a blessing to Mr. Brown Chicago. So as we move and we operate, we doing things, things are opening up for me. And, you know, we just... Continue being a blessing, continue working hard, staying focused, and being a blessing to the people, and doors are opening that, man, that we haven't even, like, I haven't seen, or you haven't heard, or even entered into the heart of man. We ain't asked for it, but, you know, it's happening, and, you know, when you're, when you have a sincere heart, good things happen for you, so. Let me slide in too open. There we go. Now. We just about ready, and and that's some enchiladas. Look at that. Some enchiladas right there. Melted enchiladas. There it is. That's the melted enchiladas. Ain't playing. That's the melted enchiladas right there. That's the enchiladas, y'all. See that right there? That's the enchiladas. You're three reels, man. And I'm telling you, you know, y'all tailgating and you're doing stuff for the uh for the holidays, and you got the people coming through, and you're watching the games and stuff, man. You can make some enchiladas with Mr. Brunch Chicago Southside Jerk Sauce. You can make buffalo wings. So we're gonna come back to everything we did today. We got Baked wings, right there. We got the nachos, right here. And we got the enchiladas, right here. So show you representation. There's the baked wings right there on that side. Them the baked wings. Turn on the other side, them the juicy fried buffalo wings. That was deep fried in the grease, right there. See that right there? Instagram live, Facebook live. Y'all see that right there? Them the buffalo. Them the bait. This the nacho. I mean, a beautiful display. Blue corn tortilla chips. You got lettuce and tomatoes. You got the nacho cheese. Homemade Southside jerk nacho cheese. And you got the, uh, a Greek yogurt, not sour cream. All in there. Y'all see that right there? That's what you want. That's it right there. And you make this at home. I'm showing y'all how to make this at home for you and your children. Your family can have it. And then, here we go right here. Come to the enchiladas. The enchiladas, y'all, right there. Enchiladas. You got people coming over again. It's you and your family. We social distancing. You can watch the game. You got you some tailgate food. You got you some NBA final food. You got some baseball food. WNBA Make you some nice, quick meals. Enjoy yourself. All in the comfort of your home and you being safe. Mr. Brown Chicago, y'all. I'm rocking with the braid chick. Y'all understand that. My sister, I love you, Erica. Rocking with the braid chick. I love all of y'all for supporting me and buying sauce. My man, Jay Middlebrook. I appreciate you getting the sauce, man. This is some of the stuff you can make with the sauce. J-Rock up there in Harrisburg, P -V the PA. Man, you're doing a wonderful job, boy. You're over there moving sauce up there, man. I appreciate you. I'm saying that people over here in these other cities and areas, man, they moving sauce. And I appreciate them, man. They've been a blessing to me. And, hey, you know, just showing people creative ways and more things you can do with the sauce. 
If you get the email, make sure you open up the email from Mr. Brunch Chicago for Southside Jerk Sauces and Rubs and for the show. So, you know, add more of my contacts to my email blast. And that's growing. And uh, Eventbrite now, I'm just getting so many more contact information. And I got to go through there. I'm going to take a whole day just to transfer everything all over the place to get into my right databases. But, hey, man, I'm, I thank y'all for being a blessing. I want to be a blessing to you all. This is Mr. Brown Chicago. This is what we're doing. Southside Jerk. Southside Jerk Bold and Spicy. The sauces and the rubs. Don't miss out on it. It's incredible. We see you next week, man. Thank y'all for chiming in.